Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama Pro. We're just wrapping up here on a pro day in the store in New York City. We had Hasselblad and Broncolor come in with some of their new equipment and we were teaching how to do some different types of beauty lighting. All day long we, we shot with the new Hasselblad CFV50C, which is a, a great new back using the CMOS sensor. It can be mounted on all the V-series Hasselblads, all the way back if you have a camera from the 50s or 60s. Right here though, for this video, I've got the H5D50C. Same sensor, but with the more modernized camera, autofocus and everything else, we're gonna use this for our demo. So we used all kinds of tools here, beauty dishes, soft boxes, those kind of things, but one thing that I really like for beauty and I think that people overlook is the umbrella. So an umbrella is really simple. It comes with most, most kits and you can do some really nice stuff with it. So I have here a small silver umbrella and I've got Valeria on set. Now your general rule with lighting is you want the light to be as close as possible to the subject, you know, without being in your shot. Obviously this is blocking her here and I've got a couple of solutions. I could simply raise the umbrella to get it out of my shot. But if I do that, then the umbrella is now up here. She's down here. The top part of her is gonna be bright where the bottom part's dark and it's also gonna throw shadows in her eyes from, from its level. Instead of doing that, I recommend you keep your umbrella level or lower and then you tilt it. So I have this up on a C-stand right now so it's very secure and I'm gonna tilt it forward a bit and then bring it up. So we're gonna center it on her face. I'll go over my camera here. I've already done a meter reader reading earlier and F8 should be about what we wanna be. So I'm gonna take a look. It's evenly lit. You've got a nice butterfly shadow under the face. It's not bad, it's kind of simple, but when working with an umbrella, uh, you know, of this size, it's a little bit small. And remember, the bigger your light source, the softer it will be. What I like to do is butt up two umbrellas together to create a much larger source. This gives me two benefits. One is that I have a larger source automatically. Two is I don't have to raise the umbrella up as high because I'm gonna be able to shoot between the two umbrellas. So I'm gonna take this guy and slide it over here. And Dave's gonna bring the other one in. I'm gonna lower my angle here so I'm not so extreme. And I can actually physically bring the light a little bit lower. What you're trying to do here is kind of match them up. We're creating one large light source that wraps around with a little spot in the middle for me to shoot through. This gives me my angle. I'm shooting right through the center of the light. You can see it's a much softer light. It also wraps around her nicely and it fills in nicely. It's also because it's a bigger source gives you a much nicer catch light in the eye. Depending on the angle of my umbrellas, I can control my contrast. Right now I have them slightly tilted. If I make them more flat, so they're level. So now it's kind of like a wall of light coming forward. I still have the little space in the middle I can shoot through. All right, so now by lowering the lights, I've created less contrast. I'm actually coming in. This is gonna be much better, let's say on an older, older subject. Uh, Valeria's got beautiful skin, she's young, so it's not really an issue for her. More contrast might actually be nicer, but in, if you were shooting, let's say, an older subject, it would, or if, let's say they had pimples that day, it would really help clean that up with a much flatter uh, source. The other thing we can do is, if we want more contrast, you wanna make it more extreme, we can tilt the lights with an even more extreme angle. Instead of being flat, I can tilt them up like this. So you can figure out wherever you want your angle to be. What's really interesting about this is, you might be thinking, well, I could do that with a softbox, but you really can't because what's, what, you can't shoot through the center of your softbox. So if you tilted your whole softbox up like this, you're still underneath it. By, by using the lights like this, you're literally shooting from the inside of your lights. So it really gives you a lot of contrast control. Let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, see, as I suspected, more contrast is definitely better uh, for Valeria. Young skin, modern, crisp, contrast is nice. What's great about this too is that I can do it really quickly. So I get my subject up. Do I want more contrast? Do I want less contrast? It takes me just a couple seconds of moving my lights back and forth. You know, here we're using bronze color lights. The, the new Cirrus Mono lights, they're amazing technology for a professional photographer, but these techniques can be used with any lighting system that you have, and umbrellas are really simple tools. You can do a lot with them. So I'd like to thank Bron Keller and Hasselblad for coming by with this great equipment for us to use today. If you are in New York City, please stop by the store. We have events every Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.